Yeah, those uh, those could come in handy. So Gilson made a mission. Uh, we're going to play this instead of Empty Stasi for a while. Also, we will respawn from uh, the gear we had on this one. Excellent. I'm running some uh, first Chechnya shit here. I just wish the VSR was more faded. Don't know about carrying that thing loaded, but <laughs> smack that thing on a doorway and you might have a bad day. Especially if it's an early <laughs> one. <laughs> the early RPGs did not uh, have the best safety measures to prevent them being dropped and detonating. Hold a rocket for me. I don't know. No, no, I don't. I'm all med supplies and mags. Oh, hey, look what I brought. This is going to be really useful. Like, legitimately really useful. Yep. Fucking trench periscope. Right, so... I guess we're going to have to go hunt Tank some tanks. Let me just... Uh... It's uh, quarter past five in the morning, game time, so no point taking a night optic, it's going to be light fairly soon. It's light enough to see anyway. There's no real reason to take a night optic unless it's actually very dark. Uh, even in full moon nighttime settings, I usually don't. And unfortunately, RHS only has the 1PN93, I think it is, not the NPSU. Which is the 1 p.m. 34. So, um, if you have a live um, convoy support tower, mm -hmm. you, you can set up and send sit reps and your reps. Oh, nice. And I, I mean, I'm just going to do a couple of uh, loom rounds. I'll let you handle all that stuff. To, to show yourself. I, I need you to see this. Oh, that man's carrying his RPG loaded too. Can you see the crossroads? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played with the uh, the nuclear rounds those things get? Yes. <laughs> and many other things. Probably a good thing we uh, didn't let Deadmon anywhere near an Akatsia while he was playing with us. We may as well. Also the AI needs. Yeah. Just 
take this one. A bit lower profile than having old mate on the back of light to play something as fucking dushka. Or, yeah, dushka. <clears throat> Shame we don't have Rob here to play uh, Kino through like really shitty microphones so it sounds like an old lady's take deck. Before I forget, comms check. Yep. Sweet. Play again over radio, just because it's engine. Can you uh, find somewhere on the where we can pitch up and see if we can spot the things? Yep. Actually, shit, it's way open over there. That ridge uh, that we uh, posted up on the other day before our ATGM escapades is probably the closest decent elevation we've got. That or Sea Hill 75 might be out of draw distance. I'd say that ridge line probably, I'll just look over the town. Roger. I also didn't bring a GPS this time, so I have to nav the difficult way, not the cheaty way. Which is good because I used to be really good at nav, um, but not using it for five, five years now, more than five years actually, because I haven't really used it that much anyway. There's always someone else doing nav. Um, yeah, it's kind of faded my skills a bit. I'm still not quite as familiar with Altus as I am with Chernerus, like when I play DayZ or whatever, or on just Armour 2 map missions, I can find my way around without map easily. I've spent that much time on it, I just instinctively know where I am and which way I'm pointing. And if I don't, I know my, uh, my way to the nearest power line or road, so I can find out where I am pretty quick. Altus though, not quite so easy. <coughs> Although I do believe Altus is significantly larger than Chernerus, so... Or if it isn't, it certainly feels like it, it, uh, it is.
mistake. Oh, whoopsie. Scene. I'm uh, I'm gonna shift up to this room. But I suspect the sound. Oh no, 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 no! Look right. Uh, reference. Ro oh fuck no! That you won't see. Yeah, see, see, yeah. see, see, see. Fucking gonna reference him off the road sign right in front of me. Gotta get the guy in the field. I get the guy on the right. Wait. Just make sure they've got no more mates around. Yep. Wait one. On your count. Okay. Three, two, one. Mine's down. Movement factory. Unfortunately, the uh, way they made the trench periscope, only the picture-in-picture -picture one can see over terrain, and the picture-in-picture -picture quality is shit awful. I saw something move left to right uh, by the barracks. It may have just been aliasing from the grass in front of me, but I think it might have been a man. I couldn't tell faction or if armed. Got. 
actually got stamina again. I love how everything I have has fucking... Look at this furniture, look at this lovely orange furniture. It's beautiful. I've got the uh, plum stuff, which they obviously recently added. Not just plum mag, plum everything. I did notice, just just a little. Remind me how you adjust your uh, proxy voice volume in this. It is... A control tab. Thank you. I wish I could stream at a higher bitrate, because this looks really cool. <laughs> you probably can't see much of it, because, uh, you know, the washed out dawn lighting kind of blows it. So, um, with a live, our infantry, uh, our friendlies will slowly take up missions as well, and so will the enemy. So you'll see squads going out and doing missions, and have enemy squads coming in and doing missions against us. Excellent. So, that marker is 400 odd meters to our straight west in amongst all that fucking uh, elephant grass. Oh, uh, it would be in the elephant grass, wouldn't it? Also, don't want to blunder into a bunch of fucking elephant grass only to be ambushed by a tank in it. Or just flat out run over. Which is very likely. Uh, Civvy moving right to left through the elephant grass. Nothing else seen. Stammy break by this wall. Oh, also, the thing with the live is uh, enemies and friendlies have uh, routines and set uh, time of day patrols. So it's quiet at the moment, but uh, enemy presence will start picking up as the sun gets up in the sky. Start seeing uh, helicopter patrols. Happy fucking days. We're uh, currently 
sitting about here in this area. Tank southwest intersection. Just the bow of it, yeah, should be able to. Or should we try and move up the road as close as we can to engage it? May as well stop by the construction site first just to see. We're going to have to pass it anyway. Yeah, you take lead. I'll uh, keep my RPG. Just going to keep moving relatively slowly so I don't die on my ass. Civvy left, coming down the road. Yeah, just take it slow. The uh, ERA plates actually get knocked off, I noticed earlier. Oh, I was, saying, uh, I was saying I had a round come through the side of my T-80's turret earlier when I was playing single player and actually knocked the fucking ERA plates off. Yeah, Makes me very happy. Civvy's fucking seen us and started looking up to the factory. It could be. Yeah, we're going to have to go down the road. Can't see anything but the tip of the gun from here. Good. Let's uh, stay on the side of the road. Yeah.
which thing? That two story between us and it might still obstruct you. Worth heading up and taking a look. You might see the engine deck from up there actually. up in the tower. No, two story completely obscures it. Of course. Well, it looks like we're doing it the hard way. Let's see if we can get up behind it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I used to use it all the time when I'd play uh, Invade and Annex with the boys. They'd ask me how the fuck I could get places so fast because just vaulting every wall I came across. fucking metal fence in the way between us and it, but I don't see any infantry. I'd say so. T seventy two B. Yeah. Audio engine north. Heard. Moving past the tank or towards. Hang on, I'm going to get up in here and see if I can see anything. Not seen, I think it's uh, about a block or two down and the two stories between me and it from the sounds of things. Also it just occurred to me another useful mod is the uh, incremental door opening one.
Coming, Dad. <laughs> 